Back at Magnus Arena, I am Tyler Mon, joined by the head coach of the Denver Pioneers, Rodney Billups. 83-69 is the final in this one as Denver falls to the UC Irvine Anteaters. And coach, I mean, some good stuff to take away from this one, a good start. UC Irvine shoots really, really hot at the end of the first half. They shoot well in the second half. What stands out to you most about this one? You know, we had them pegged, I thought, um, in our preparation. I thought Coach Ficky, he, he knew exactly what they were going to run, and they didn't, they didn't wave away from that. And... We just didn't get it done defensively. Um, uh, you know, they, they did get hot. They, they made some shots that we didn't expect them to make, but that, there's, that's no excuse for us to, to have bad effort. You know, our, our offense dictated our defense versus, uh, versus, versus this team tonight, and, and we can't have those kind of lapses. Some communication down the stretch I saw with your guys, guys who would come off, get to the bench. What's the discussion with? There were a lot of possessions late that turned into short possessions. As the margin kind of grew, guys would come down, take a shot early on the shot clock, a quick rebound, and you're going the other way. What's the communication like between you guys and your roster late in the game? You know, the communication for me is always I, I try to be positive with our guys. I try to, to, to coach and teach at the same time, uh, be can, can give them some constructive criticism. Uh, so, you know, for, for us to get better, we, we've got to start being able to take information from the sideline uh, into the game, from the, from the huddle into the game. Until we, we take those, those kind of gains, uh, we're, we're still going to be a mediocre basketball team like you saw tonight. One of the things that really stood out early on in the second half, the guys did much better. No foul trouble until late in the second half. I mean, you come out through the first nine minutes, I think Irvine had 10 team fouls. Mm -hmm. Your guys only had two. That's a big improvement first half to second half. It's huge. It's huge. And, and that was the emphasis in the, in the, the halftime uh, talk with the team. We got to stop fouling. We gave them, I don't know how many free throws in the first half. Uh, but it was it was entirely too much. And at the end of the game, when you look at it, you know, our, our goals will always be we want to out-rebound our opponent by eight. We only did it by three. We want to uh, have 10 or less turnovers. We have 14. We want to hold them under 40% field goal percentage defense. We, we held them at 45. So we didn't, we didn't play to our, our, our capability. Uh, but, you know, we can learn from it. And, and it's a quick turnaround, so we've got to learn from it quick. Some positives to take away from this one, but from so, some stuff to work on, and the focus now turns to Colorado on Tuesday. You mentioned on Monday when we did our first coaches show that one of the things you worry about coming into a week like this is that date with Colorado on Tuesday, you kind of circle on the calendar. The guys have to be prepped for Irvine. Do you feel like the focus was there? It seemed like these guys were in this moment for this game. Yeah, early. Uh, you know, when you make your first couple shots and, and the team is, is, is behind you and you have some energy, it's easy to start rallying around that energy. Uh, but, you know, when, when you hit some adversity and guys start getting tired and, and the, other, the opponent is now making some shots, we've got to be able to grow up and, and fight through that little bit of adversity. Uh, but until then, you know, we, we, we've got a, a lot of work to, to handle. That's the head coach of the Pioneers, Rodney Billups. Denver falls in this one, 83-69, but right back at it on Tuesday in Boulder against the University of Colorado. And, uh, Coach, we'll see you tomorrow for the second edition of the Coach Billups Show and see you up there on Tuesday. Sounds good. Thank you.